I want to ask. Can you tell us about, about diverse tongues as a gift? Okay. And I want to ask uh, speaking in tongues as a gift because the Lord of Holy the Lord of Holy opposed the gift that the gift is only for prophecy. But I myself, I want to know if the gift of tongues only for prophecy or for also intercession. No, the pastor was the one sitting the room, the party around the conversation, and doing the benefits. Et uniquement pour la prophétie, vous c'est aussi pour l'intercession. I'm going to talk about the gift of tongues. It may take us some time, but maybe let me limit myself. Je vais vous poser la question. There are three types of gifts, three types of tongues in the Bible. Il y a trois types de parler en langue dans la Bible. There is the tongue that was spoken on the day of Pentecost. Il y a la langue qui a été parlée au jour de la Pentecost. And there is the tongue that is prophecy. And there is the tongue that is for your own self-edification. There is the tongue that is for your own self-edification. The tongue that was spoken on the day of Pentecost was a sign for the birth of Christ. And that is in Isaiah 28. Let's read it. And that is in Isaiah 28. In Isaiah chapter 28, that Isaiah chapter 28, that this is what he said. Verse 10 and verse 11. Verse 10 and verse 11. For precept must be of a precept. Precept, precept, supercept. Precept of a precept. Precept, supercept. Line of a line. Speaking in tongues, the spirit takes over. 
spiritual control and begin to force you to pray according to the will of God. The mystery of this our God is very deep. If you study and you know Him, you will enjoy work with Him. This God knows your problem. But you will not attend to your problem unless you pray. If you don't pray, you will look at you. You are suffering, you are crying. You are you will be looking at you. That's what Paul said, pray without ceasing. It's not you don't receive because you don't ask. It's he who asks that we receive. He's talking about prayers. But he is also a merciful God. Uh, so when you know Brother Abraham told us something, the Bible told us something that God cannot counsel, nobody can counsel God. The Bible says God counsel with himself. You know the scripture, right? He counsel with himself. Oh, who, who will advise God? But here is God. Tell to Moses. Give me time. Let me finish this. Let's go and take this purpose. Just few minutes left, they have gone to idolatry. And Moses began to tell God. What will people say? They are God who brought them to the wilderness. And God will not take them to the wilderness. And Moses began to advise God. Brother Abraham was the one that made us to understand that. It was his own spirit that came on Moses. Next message. 